Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at the Frontier EDC Roll-Up Bag by Art Company USA. Let's check it out. Now I just want to start out by saying I've had this bag for about two months now and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna give you guys a nice close-up of the Frontier EDC Roll-Up Bag by Art Company USA. While you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. So the Frontier bag is handmade out of 1000D Cordura nylon right here in the USA. It features seven slots and an adjustable lanyard. And it doesn't just hold knives, you can also put your multi-tools in here, pry bars, flashlights, whatever can fit in these seven pockets. And it's also available in five different colors. The color that I have right here is Coyote Brown. So I couldn't find any dimensions online, so I'm gonna do a quick measurement right here so it's about 14 and a half inches in length here and it looks like it's about six and a quarter inches in width and it also has seven pockets but the five pockets in the center are smaller than the two pockets on the end so if we take a measurement of one of the pockets in the center it looks to be about one and three quarters inches and one of the end pockets is about two and a quarter inches long now i did say i love this bag because i never knew how much i needed a roll-up bag of this style before because of how much i travel before this is what i have i have this Blade HQ knife bag here and then I have this gigantic Spyderco knife bag right here. These two bags are just too large to travel around with and you can see this knife roll up bag when it's rolled up it's literally a fraction of the size of even this small Blade HQ bag. And yes, granted, these two bags hold a lot more than the Frontier. This holds seven knives or so, but realistically how many knives do you need to take with you when you travel? Don't answer that. Now I have a ton of knives over here off screen that I was gonna demo in each of these pockets to see if they would fit. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna pick a few knives over here that I think would demonstrate well of what could fit in these small pockets and large pockets. And the largest, beefiest knife that I have, at least as a folder, is this Cold Steel 8010. So will the Cold Steel 8010 fit in this larger pocket here? And, <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. So that's really impressive. When I first got this Frontier bag, I didn't think that these pockets were big enough to fit the 8010. So if it fits the 8010, that means it should fit the 8015, right? Well, let's see. Oh yeah, fits right in there like a glove. And even though these knives fit nice and comfortable in that large pocket, they will not fit in these small pockets in the center of the Frontier. So the Spyderco Yojimbo right here should fit in there pretty nicely. Yes, it does. And then a Benchmade Griptilian with the carbon fiber scales. I'll try the other side. Yeah, these absolutely have no issues at all in these two side pockets. So as I mentioned earlier, it also fits multi-tool. So right here I have the Leatherman Free P4, Leatherman Charge, and the Leatherman Wave. So obviously these are gonna fit in these side pockets here without any issues at all. But what about the middle pockets? Yeah, no go at all. So unfortunately, if you have one of these Leathermans, they won't fit in any one of these middle pockets, but no problems on the ends. So let me demo some knives that will fit in these middle pockets here. I have a Benchmade Bugout CF Elite. That's not gonna have any issues at all. Then I have a Giant Mouse Ace Clyde right here. Super skinny, not a problem. And then I have a Benchmade Osborne 940. Let's get that bad boy in there. There you go. And now let's test a couple flashlights. So I have an Olight i3T right here. And what I wanna check is to see if I can get two of these small EDC flashlights into one of these small pockets. So there's the Olight, then I have a 4.7's P1 Prion Mark III right here. And as you can see, I can fit two of these smaller AAA flashlights into one of these smaller middle pouches right here. So that is awesome. And let's stuff some pry bars in here. This is the Bolt EDC titanium pry bar. I'll put that one at the end in the big pocket. And of course the Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 2.5. And I'll put that one at the end here and check that out. So even though these smaller pockets are too small for larger knives or even multi-tools, as you can see, no problem with a couple AAA flashlights there. And even though I put these two pry bars in the larger pocket, shouldn't have any problems at all with the smaller pockets. 
as you can see right there. So hopefully this has given you a better grasp of what can fit in the Frontier bag by our company. Because I know just looking at pictures online doesn't give you the full scope of what you can carry in a bag like this. So let's check it out with the flap closed and all rolled up. And like I said earlier, it does have an adjustable lanyard right here. Cinch it up nice and tight. A nice little burrito roll. I love this thing. And I just jumped into stuffing knives into here, but I never even talked about the quality of this bag. If you guys have anything from our company, USA, you're gonna know that the quality is top notch on anything he does. 1000D Cordura nylon is an extremely tough fabric within itself. But then couple that with some very durable stitching as you can see here, and you have yourself a nice little bag here. So it should be fairly obvious that I definitely recommend the Frontier EDC roll-up bag by our company, USA. And if you wanna check out one for yourself, they go for about 52 on their Etsy website. And I'll have all the links below in my description box. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Frontier EDC roll-up bag by our company, USA? As I already said, I'll have links below in my description box if you guys want to check this out for yourself. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!